Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Genesis 32 and Jacob went on his way, he left Laban, and the angels of God met him. Now this is very interesting. Angels, plural. Two angels met with Abram, Abraham. But here it's not just, it's angels, plural. You find it here, you find it with Jesus. Angels came and ministered after Satan left him. You find it when the, when Jesus is born, the angels appear to the shepherds. And John in the book of Revelation has angels, but they're all throughout the whole book. And it's interesting that three times in the Bible, Jacob, Jesus, and the shepherds, have a company of angels. It's usually an, an angel or a couple angels. Jacob had already seen the vision of angels coming up and down the ladder. No other man has had that but Jacob, Jesus, and those shepherds. Now, Abraham had a couple, uh, he had two of them, one of them had two of them, and God, but what I'm talking about here is angels of multitude, because watch. And when Jacob saw them, he said, this is God's host. There are a lot of them. So now we're open to something else in the Bible. When you read from now on the host of God, Jacob said those are angels. Jacob has set forth a definition of the Bible of host. When we're talking about God, it's angels. Now, why Jacob, Jesus, and those shepherds? Has to do with Jesus. Jacob has to do with Jesus. He will be renamed to Isaiah. I mean, Isaiah. Israel. Like I said, other people have had an angel, two angels. But here is a whole vast amount of angels. And he's already had this. This is the second time. And he called the name of the place Mahat Am. Which means to heap. Oh no, I take that back. Two hosts or bands. And you find Song of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 13. Okay. Got rid of one problem. Laban's gone. Phew. Like, no. No. Don't take out your kerchief. Don't take out your handkerchief yet because we still got another problem. Jacob sent messages before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. Now remember, he has left because Rachel got, I mean, Rebecca got word from God, Esau's going to kill you. Now Jacob, go to my father's, my, my father's house, get yourself a wife, come back when he's not so angry. Now he's got problem number two. And notice Esau is already in the land of Seir, the land of Edom. On the other side of Jordan River, down by the Dead Sea, he's not in the promised land. That's not his land. Esau has already moved out. He's gone. While Jacob was away. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye speak unto my lord Esau. 
it's a title of respect. You would, if I met the president of the United States, whoever he is, it would have been Trump, or it would have been President Obama. Or I know he's not president, or whoever president Lord Terry's next year, whatever. I would address him as Mister or President. It's a title. But here's where Jacob's wrong. Thy servant Jacob. No, not according to the first right born of the child. <coughs> Isaac already said, let your mother's brethren fall down before you. And Jacob is in a chance right now that my brother, as far as I know, is still angry with me. And I've got to lower myself. Do you know someone who has the firstborn right? Of all firstborn right that lowered himself to become a servant according to the Gospel of Mark, Jesus Christ. Isn't that interesting? Who has a company of angels that visit him? Isn't that interesting? I have sojourned with Laban and stayed there unto now. True. I have oxen, I have asses, flocks. Sheep, goats, men servants, woman servants, and I have sent to tell my Lord Esau that I may find grace in thy sight. Uh, I want to know what condition your heart is, brother. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to thy brother Esau, and also he cometh to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Uh oh. Now Jacob's heart is in his throat. He is in a panic now. I just got done with Laban. Now here comes my brother. Well, the men that he sent to go talk to Esau. The messengers returned to Jacob saying, uh, what is it? He's, he commanded him. In verse 3, Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau. Sends them before him. They come back. Esau's coming. And he's got 400, there's 401 men coming. 400 is an interesting number in the Bible. And Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed. And he divided the people that was with him and the flocks and the herds and the camels into two bands. There's no prayer. No prayer at all. And said, if Esau come to the Turn page. I don't know, the child, when you said the, the books on the record play would tell you, turn page. Boy, am I old. One company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. So Esau comes, he, he wipes out the first company. You, the second company, take off. Leave. Save your life. And Jacob said, Oh God, now he prays. My father, Abraham. God of my father Isaac, the Lord which says unto me, <coughs> excuse me, return unto thy country and thy kindred, and I will dwell, I will deal well with thee. Uh, God, he told me to go back, and Esau is coming with 401 men. This don't look good. I'm scared. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and all the truth which thou hast showed. And thy servant, for which my staff I passed over this Jordan, he's using the staff, and now I am become two bands. He's divided them into two, two groups. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him. Jacob is being completely honest with God. I, I, I'm afraid. I left and that guy was very angry with me. I have been gone. I think, what was it? You said over here. I have been gone for how many years? I've been gone for 20 years. 20 years expired and uh, he's angry with me. He's bringing an army. Now, now see, 400. Now he's thinking, here comes an army, and he's dead. At least he will come and smite me and the mother with the children. Now look at that. Smite me first. Me first. And then the mother, and then the children. 
That's Abraham. Oh, honey, will you tell them you're my sister because I don't want to die for you? That's Isaac. Honey, will you tell them you're my sister because I don't want to die for you? Rachel, Leah, I don't want to die for you. They're going to kill me first. Me first. And thou saidest, now he's going to quote God. And when you get in trouble and you have a desperate prayer, quote God and his scripture. God, you said this. Now, do not misapply the scripture. Do not abuse the scripture. And make sure the scripture you got is the right scripture and is hold to you and God. I will surely do thee good, God speaking. Well, good, and uh, here goes my brother. And make thy seed as the sand of the sea, not if Esau kills me, which cannot be numbered for a multitude, but he doesn't know what's in Esau's heart. God does. And he lodged there that same night. He takes a break. And took of that which came to his hand a present for Esau, his brother. Here comes a bride. Now, from this time forth, this is this is what Esau is going to. I mean, this is what Jacob's going to do, and he will call it a gift, a present. It's a bribe. Two hundred she goats, twenty he goats, two hundred ewes, and twenty rams, thirty milk camels with colts, with their colts, their babies, forty kine, and ten bulls. 20 she asses and 10 fowls. Bulls. And he delivered them into the hand of his servants. Every drove by themselves. So the camels were with the camels, the kind were the kinds, the goats were with the goats. Massive animals. And said to the servants, Pass over before me, go ahead of me, and put a space between drove and drove. You know, the goats go. All right, space, sheep, they go, space, camels, space, okay. And he commanded the foremost, this would be the furthest from him, the first group. They're going to be the furthest from, from Jacob, saying, When Esau, my brother, meeteth thee, and asketh thee, saying, Whose art thou? And whither goest thou? And whose are these before thee? What is going on with all these animals? Who owns these animals? Why? And thou shalt say, They be thy servant Jacob's. It is a present, right? Sent unto my lord Esau, and behold, he is behind us. So he commanded the second and the third. Now you take the 200 she goats, it's now. 1,200 uh, she goats, 12 goats, 20 goats, excuse me, 60, 200, that's 600, 20, that's 120, 30, that's 180, 40, that's 120, 10, that's 30. He has three sets of group of these animals. He sends them out. He's trying to please his brother. And all that follow the drove, saying, On this manner shall ye speak to Esau when he find it. This is of your servant Jacob. This is your gift. And he said, More behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present. It's a bribe. That goeth before me, and afterward I will see his face after he gets the present. Preventure, perhaps he will accept me. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. He's still got a group of people and a group of animals. And he rose up that night, gets up in the middle of the night, and took his two wives. I thought he had four of them. And by the way, I also learned today reading. That Hagar, gave, I mean, Sarai gave Hagar and said, this is to be your wife. I read that today. 
I read that the other day. When Rachel and Leah give their handmaids to be their wife, Sarai said it too. Took his two wives and his two women servants. No, they're your wife. And his eleven sons, and passed over to Ford Jabuk. And he took them and sent them over the brook, and sent over that he had. So let's go over this little brook. And Jacob was left alone, all by himself. And there were there wrestled a man with him unto the breaking of the day. And this is the picture's prayer wrestling. Jacob wants his brother to be at peace with him. And he's praying to God. He's doing everything he can do by gifts and sending the company off to be safe. And he's by himself and he's afraid. And God's going to step in. And you'll find out by Hosea 12, 3 and 4 that this is an angel that he's going to wrestle with. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he's losing. He's not getting the victory. He touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. Jacob is, is wrestling this guy and getting victory. The angel is not. And as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will, I will not let thee go except... Thou bless me. All right. This is Jacob. Give me some. Give me some of that that that's, that that uh, beans you got. Sell me your birthright. Let me go. Not unless you bless me. Make me happy. What will make Jacob happy? Esau come with peace. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. I'm just looking at notes here. 27, 19, and 24. You remember when he was with his father Isaac? What's your name? I'm Esau. You know what God's saying right now? What's your name, buddy? It's Jacob. I am not going to change my name again. Jacob has learned a lesson. God wants to know, who are you, buddy? Who are you? He says, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Now, this name change is going to happen later on again. But Israel. Israel means a prince of or with God. First time Israel shows up. It pictures a new birth. Jacob, you're going to lose that name uh, uh, you know, of all the strife, all the problems, all the biddings, of all what you are. You're going to lose that name. We'll give you a new name. We're going to give you a new character. It shall be Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. Guess who he's fighting? He's fighting God. Having a wrestle match with God. And Hosea says the angel quite interesting. Scripture with scripture. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. Judges 13, 17, Proverbs 30, verse 1. He said, Wherefore is it thou, wherefore is that thou dost ask after my name? He can't tell him his name yet. He could say Jehovah, but he can't say Jesus. And he blessed him there. He got exactly what he wanted by holding on. You better bless me. And he blessed him. Now Esau is going to come with peace. You ever wonder what, what's truly on Esau's mind and heart? 
had not God said, okay, I'm going to bless you. And the blessing for the happiness of Jacob's prayer would be to be peace with his brother right now. Remember Asher, remember they shall call me happy, they shall call me blessed. What's going to make Jacob happy? He doesn't say, oh, give me riches or kill Esau right now, those 400 men. He wants peace. And he gets it. And he blessed them there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, the face of God. E-L, God. Peni, P-E-N-I, -E face. See, God will let you learn Hebrew. Everywhere you see a name in the Bible, a name in the Bible, place or person, and has the E L, J A. That's God, Jehovah. There was a king named Jeconiah, and God says that king is so wicked. Take off the J A and just call him Keniah. What did God do to him? I removed my name from him. For I have seen God face to face. That's kind of funny because he told Moses, no man can see my face. Except he live, I'm going to put you in a cliff on a rock. Now, is the Bible contradicting? No man has seen God at any time. What's the only way you could see God? By Jesus Christ. He's messing with Jesus Christ right now, the angel. A one particular angel that is God. Who is God and who is Jesus? God is Jesus and Jesus is God. So you would ruin this cross-reference if you had a New World Translation. This ain't no ordinary angel, according to Hosea 12, 3 and 4. Mess with the angel. <coughs> and you can't tell him his name because his name doesn't come until the eighth day when he's circumcised. So, Jacob is coming out from tribulation and trouble with Laban, a type of Antichrist. He's running. And he's coming to meet another enemy. And in between that, he sees God. And he's wrestling with God. But even though when he runs to that city, and we think no future, but let's say wherever that city God has him for his flight, just because they run to that city does not mean that the enemy is still not there. I know Esau will let him go, but Esau and Edom, they're battling Israel all along. The only way Esau sets to peace is because God says, okay, I'll give you a blessing. I'll bless you. And the only blessing that Jacob wanted was, hey, I don't want my brother to kill me. For I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. My life is preserved. When those Jews run the sale of Peter, their life is preserved. The Jews that don't go. And as he passed over Peniel, the sun rose upon him. So it's coming more brighter and brighter. And he halted upon his side. He's limping. He, he done some battle and got some limping. Got a torn muscle. That's permanent. Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the shinu. That's the muscle. Which the shinu which shrank. And I don't know if it's saying that that shinu shrank or is that the shrank of the shinu. Which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day. Because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the shinu that shrank. So the thigh shrunk. Now that's tradition right there. God did not tell him not to eat that. But that's supposed to remind him as the Lord suffers remind us of. That time that Jacob fought that angel fought God and got the prayer request. We take bread and, and grape juice, 
And that's to remind us of all the finished work that Jesus Christ had done for us. The suffering, the dying, the burial, the resurrection. And yes, he's coming back. This is supposed to say, hey, when we do this, Jacob had a battle. And yet, God's going to take care of us.